So this free kick now to the visitors. And it struck left footed and it's in. And that's an early goal straight away for the, uh, the visitors. And uh, that's Chris Priest who's got it with his left foot. And it's 1-0 to Pershaw Town. The goalkeeper saw the ball coming at him very, very late. And he's not very happy with the way that went in, I don't think. So 1-0 Pershaw Town here at Whitchurch Allport. Rich's ball bounces past the, uh, the defence. There's a chance now for a second goal. And goodness me, it's gone in. It's lobbed in from the left by Priest again. And it's 2-0 to Pershaw. Good kick by the keeper, and uh, that's really been benefited by the left-sided player for Pershaw. Home defence missed out on the bounce. Jackson to Wally. Walker in front of him. But uh, once again, the ball comes to McNichol. Tries to thread it through. Mills gets a touch on that. Moss now going to the right, and that's the overlap. That's a good pass now for the cross. And it comes. Wally can't jump, it's been headed on. Jackson's cross. There's a good header there, and that's in. Goalkeeper couldn't get down to that. And uh, it's 2 1. And just what the uh, hosts needed to get back into the game. And it's the number eight twig has got it. Here come the uh, hosts again on that right hand side. Marley tries to get it inside. They've kept possession and uh, Pershaw are all over the place at the moment. Mills trying to deal with it. Moss gets it to Wally. Wally, nice step over. Left foot shot and that's gone in at the near post. And it's all square. 2 2 here at Whitchurch All Court. towards Mills and uh, free kick given. It's taken quickly by Mills. Wally getting past Walker, turning inside, looking for some kind of support. Finds it from McNichol who uses Jackson. Left foot cross and a header by Moss and that has struck the crossbar. And it's kept out by the goalkeeper and flicked in. And it's 3-2. And there's a bit of trouble in the goal mouth there as well. And uh, we have another set piece for the hosts. And uh, Moss clips it in. That's dangerous. It's nodded out by Pershaw. Headed forward again. There's a right foot shot. Oh no, no. The goalkeeper has palmed it over his own head. And it's 4-2. And Pershaw are reeling now. And uh, the visitors have managed to get that one away. And here they come on the right hand side. Priest gets it inside towards Tom Jack. And the two substitutes who've just come on for Pershaw now trying to add a little bit of steel into the middle of the attack. There's a chance and it's in! It's come straight the way through, and that's the first touch. Touch forward, but intercepted by Pershaw Wilson towards Devlin, and uh, there goes Butterworth. He's got good pace. In comes the ball. It's got to be a chance. And it's in! Unbelievably, they've scored again. It's 4 4. So it's the penalty shootout here at Whitchurch or Port, and uh, the home midfielder Moss. Is set to take the first kick against Pershaw's Rich. Referee making sure his assistant knows what's going on here. And uh, quite a lot of fans have now moved behind that net, probably to give some stick to the visiting keeper. It's a long runner. And the keeper has saved it. Incredible. Priest to take the first kick now for Pershaw. Left footed, and that's saved as well. Good save by Reed. 
now it's Mills to take the second all port kick went close near the end of the overtime period of course and the referee making sure the ball is actually on the spot let's see what he can do with this oh he's blazed it over the bar into the netting now there's a bit of trouble between the keeper and the the fourth penalty and it's uh, Pavel Tomchak to take it for the Persians and he smashes it into the roof of the net and it's 1-0 on penalties to Pershaw. Now the uh, Allport skipper Ledwoods to try and regain parity in the penalty shootout and he has done that's a nice penalty. Evelyn to take the next Pershaw penalty. Oh and he's put that well wide. Now the next penalty for the, uh, the hosts. It'll be very useful for them if they can put this one in. And it is in, it's in the bottom left corner. Advantage to Twig's successful penalty for the hosts, puts them two on ahead. This is a very important penalty for Wilson now. Can Pershaw pull it back to parity? Yes, just into the corner. So here we go with the next penalty, and it's the uh, the substitute Goddard, and he sends the goalkeeper the wrong way, and it's all up to Butterworth now to take the. So let's see what happens with Pershaw's next penalty, and it's in the corner. Nice penalty, and it's three-three. Now it's Wally to take the next penalty for Whitchurch. Left footed of course, easily into the bottom of the net and it's advantage to, I think this is Matthewson to take the next Pershaw penalty. And that's saved! And Whitchurch Allport have gone through to the next round of the FA Vars on penalties. Keeper is the hero. Final score here at Whitchurch is Whitchurch Allport 4, Pershaw Town 4, but the win on penalties has sent the hosts through to the next round of the FA.